Hello. Uh, where's my controller? Where is my good USB cable? Also, I'm probably getting sick, but not with the coronavirus. I'm just normal amounts of sick. Did any amusement parks spring up in my room? No, but I had a really weird dream, and I don't remember most of it, except, like, it somehow involved Super Mario 64, and I don't remember how exactly. It was something like... God, it's like we were trying to come up with something, or trying to design something, and... It was like, well, I don't know if this exists or if anybody would know how to do this. And someone's like, oh, no, it's in Super Mario 64. It's fine. Everyone will understand. I. That's the only bit of the dream that I remember. That's kind of it. Uh, where is my retro arch? It's the stream machine. It's the cold machine because I'm sick <clears throat> bean stream machine oh god that's loud that's alright it's something that always happens it's like you get a couple days in a row of uh, not sleeping much. And then it's like, oops, guess I'm sick now. All sniffly and coldy. How much Final Fantasy XIV did I play? Uh, I finished the main story quest and... Did a little more after that, but the plot just fell off, like, immediately after. And then I kind of just stopped caring, because without that, it was just a generic MMO. Well, maybe not generic. I mean, it was good. It's just... I don't know. Need my story. Yeah, no, I heard the expansions are good, and I have them, but... Never got that far. Uh, and I played on Corel, or however you say it, on the Crystal data center. Is it better than Fly for Fun? All I can tell you is that I played more Fly for Fun than Final Fantasy XIV. I mean, the base game story was kind of eh, but it had its moments and it picked up occasionally, and that was fine. But, like, after the main story quest, it just seemed like maybe there's more things to do, but I also kind of feel like I'm finished. So I just couldn't be bothered. Yeah, because I hit a certain point where it's like, I'm just logging into Final Fantasy every day just to do the daily cat pots. Because I guess the only thing I want in a multi-million dollar video game is to just play the scratch-off section. Which I got pretty good at, but I would be playing the game for literally five minutes a day and then eventually just let the subscription lapse and that was it. Chances are you're probably not going to see me play it. I might, but I feel like I've kind of shelved that for now. <sighs> oh man, I tried to find a coffee. All the Starbucks around me were closed. I could have gone to the 7-Eleven, but it's not really, it's 
wasn't really coffee at that point. <sighs> Why not brew my own coffee? I don't have any, and my coffee maker broke, and I never replaced it. How about Dunkin' Donuts? I don't think we have any here. Any that are close. I don't especially like Dunkin' Coffee either, but... Oh no, there is a Dunkin' here. On Light Street. Oh! I know where that is! Yeah, that's right across from the Rofo. In the Petamore. <sighs> Maybe next time. See, the thing that Final Fantasy XIV, I think, also had that was kind of an issue after the base game ended was that, um... I feel like the easiest way to just get through that and get onto the good content is to just, you know, ignore whatever the story segment was that they were trying to tell you and just plow through it and be done. But also, it's an RPG, and it has always felt really perverse to me to skip all the cutscenes. It's like that's kind of the point. Sort of. <laughs> but... Every time I would have to go and get another main story quest, or go to that goddamn... Sanctum place in the desert that I'm forgetting the name of, Wandering Sands. It's just like, oh god, I'm... <sighs> Good. Uh, I only played as White Mage. <laughs> Pray for turn. Yeah! <coughs> Excuse me. No, they didn't have a warp point, which is also really irritating. I'm trying to remember where the nearest one was. I can't remember any of the town places offhand. There's a boat to it. So, I also think the game would have been better if I streamed a fair amount of it because I could just ask people questions on the stream instead of wondering how anything works. But, eventually figured that out. Still can. Uh, I don't know. I'm lazy. I don't feel like paying money for a subscription. Mm, excuse me. Oh, thanks, MQS. Well, it's good to be back, although... God, I feel beat today. <laughs> It's like my throat hurts from talking a lot, and that I didn't really sleep a whole lot last night, and it's, it's just no good all around. So now I'm just dealing with a cold or something. Oh, it's definitely worth the subscription for the amount of content and everything, but... Also, uh, you know, if you're not <clears throat> super into it, <clears throat> you know, it's still money regardless. Your free company had a bunch of drama that made you quit. Oh man, I like my free company. And one day I just stopped logging in, so maybe they've booted me from it, I don't know. Man, I really wanted to play American Truck Sim. I don't know why. Not even, like, the trucking part. I just want to have that modded, what was it, like, the BMW in there, and then just drive all the roads coast to coast playing, like, podcasts or whatever. But I mentioned before, it's really irritating, because that game keeps auto-updating, 
and also in the process of auto-updating it breaks all my mods and all the new versions of the mods now require you to have all the DLC for the additional states, which I'm not paying for. So... I don't know. I never found a way to turn it off. And I'm, I'm sure there is a way. It felt absurd to me when I was looking through the settings that there wasn't a way to easily turn it off. But... I went into that game property and it didn't have anything. Or any op Any options. Eh. It was just always keep this up to date, update this when I play it, or like high priority or something. But I'll have to take a look. Um, yeah, I'm dead. Uh, let's see. Haha, -ha, I am right. Take that, I told you. I told you they don't have an option for it. I looked. And it seems really weird that they wouldn't, like... You know, everyone likes Steam, and it's kind of like the game distribution service of record, and everyone's like, oh, they're good and have all these options, and it's very consumer-friendly, but now it's like, hey, have fun, we can make the game that you paid for suddenly stop working in the way that you enjoy it. Ha ha. And, like, I have... I have no control over it. It's just gonna update. I don't have a way to make it not update. It's either always keep it up to date, update it when I launch, or always update it before others. I don't have a way to undo that. So. That's cool. You can launch it from the folder instead of from Steam. I guess? I thought it would pull, um... I thought it would, uh, hook into Steam anyway, and it would make you updated. Did I see the new Food Dip video? God, you know, I hate and almost kind of love that, or like, that's become a thing now. Instead of like this weird niche internet thing that I stumbled upon one day of the weird dude eating junk in his car. And now people are like, hey, did you see that new Food Dip video? No, but I am glad people are excited from them, for them, whatever it is. I wish Bob all the best. Life free of heartburn and additional legitimate children. Am I done with food dip now? Oh yeah, no, I've sold my soul to the wolf pit. He cares about me, the people. Uh, no, probably no mainstream tonight. I don't really feel very good. Oh, crap. No! No, Tim just has a cold. No fever, though, as far as I can tell. Yeah, I'll be okay. I just need, like, a night or two of sleeping more than three hours. God, the pharmacy was a madhouse when I went. Everyone checking your temperature at the door, people screaming at the people taking their temperature at the door for some reason. And just being all randomly quarantined in an entirely different room of the pharmacy. This whole thing is very strange. And I guess it all kind of happens so fast that I haven't really entirely had a chance to process it. Like, I went outside looking for coffee today and, like, there was nobody there. 
and there was no traffic. There's nothing. It's just like a weird ghost town now, and it wasn't nearly like that like a week ago. Your state has a stay-at-home order. You don't know what to do. Uh, how did they enforce that? Also, I did order ramen at the very least, so that was good. We had a um, ramen place open up here in Baltimore a few months ago, and it's really good! Oh man, it might be the best ramen I've ever had. Oh no, somebody came into our lab yesterday, or Friday I guess it would be, and uh, went and got a bunch of our protective stuff, so they went and took a bunch of our masks and gloves and everything. Like, not a random person, it was a person from the university and my boss showed him around and everything, but... It's getting interesting out there, I guess. It's the only way to describe it. States are plane cancelled. Oh no, it happened. They put out a bad tweet or oh, what's going on there? <sighs> How long did I stream after brushing my teeth last night? Like an hour? Hour and a half? Dang, that's a fast combo. It was like two and a half hours, though, was it? I don't know why there are like 900 of you watching me play Puyo at 5 in the morning, but thank you! I appreciate it a lot, I'm just confused. Then again, that is my normal emotion, expression, feeling, state of being. should have ended earlier and raided Snoop. Well, when they told me I could have raided Snoop, I went to his account and checked a minute or two later and he had just turned the stream off. I got there at like the last second. I didn't even see Snoop on the stream, so for all I know it could have just been some random dude who's like, I'm the real Snoop Dogg, wearing his face or something. Oh, that's not great. Okay, that'll be good. There. Oh, those suns just saved me. And are now going to proceed to kill me. Wait, is he not Snoop Lion anymore? Did that end? He was smoking on stream. Weird. Does he always do that? What was he smoking? Who's Snoop Dogg? What's a marijuana? He dropped the line thing. Oh, don't do that, they're endangered. legally changed to Snoopzilla. Wait, no, Timzilla. Not Snoopzilla. That would not be in accordance with my brand. Oh, I have to update all of those panels on my Twitch account. They're all 
inaccurate. In hundreds of ways. For example, my blood is no longer red. Trying my best not to bleed right now, so I'll let you know some other time. <laughs> I said finally replaced with coffee. Not today! I couldn't find a place that was open. And my coffee maker's busted. I mean, I have a bottle of caffeine pills sitting around that I guess I could pop at some point, but... <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, don't really want to be unable to sleep again tonight, so I'm probably gonna hold off on that. Does Taco Bell have coffee? It doesn't, right? Like, there's no way. No, I don't have Animal Crossing. I don't really have that much interest in it, I don't know. It always just seemed kind of tedious. I don't think the Wi-Fi in my apartment works with the Switch internet yet, so... Just uh, Prison Tycoon, or Prison Sim, or whatever that game was. Um, my Switch Wi-Fi... So the Nintendo Online service doesn't like the NAT type that my apartment Wi-Fi is. Um, and generally for, like, peer-to-peer -peer connections, it's not happy with me. So, stuff like Fightcade, uh, that I guess runs on that, also does not work. Prison Architect, that's what it is. So, if I cared I could set up a VPN on this computer and then pipe the internet through, like, an adapter into the Switch, but also that's... Yeah, a lot of people have been telling me to play Hitman Space Outlaw, and I haven't actually looked much at it yet, but from what I understand, it seems like it's effectively a game made pretty much for me specifically. But, um, I just haven't gotten around to playing it yet. Yeah, and I still have to play the new, uh, Jenks game. Oh my god, dude. Jesus. Hidden Palace is streaming something. Are they? Where is it? Is it a Sonic beta? Is it a beta of Dave Mira's BMX? Oh wait. There it is. Now dumping prototypes and playing flashback. Flashback. That's... That's the sequel to another... No. Out of this world. Or another world. No. I don't know. One of those. Are those related? Something like that. I think there's like another world in one region and out of this world in another. Something like that. <laughs> oh my god! No! <laughs> That's fine, wait, 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 we're still good.
Twitch care if you stream someone else's stream? Probably. No! No! Wait, yes, somehow. I didn't plan that at all, but sure. Oh, that's not good. Oh my god, no! <laughs> no, 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 no! Why? Oh, why would you do that? person getting restreamed doesn't mind. I'm just gonna make a channel and I'm just gonna go into random people's Twitch streams and say, can I restream this? And just do it anyway. I'll just find a really big channel and just have it get lost in the messages. And I'll be like, well, you didn't say no, so. No, no main channel cast tonight. I don't feel healthy enough. Not the world's best way to phrase that. Oh, thanks, the Axel. Thanks for coming back. No, I just have a cold. I'm kind of sitting on one for a bit because I haven't slept well for a while. It's so weird though, so, like that hype train thing kept popping up yesterday, but what is it, like you get special emotes for a limited time? Because now it's like, Twitch, I love you, but how many ideas for emotes and like tiny little 20 by 20 pixel icons do you think I have? I have like a thousand emote slots that I don't know what to do with. I have all these different like substreak badges that I don't know what to do with. Now there's like hype train emotes that I don't know what to do with. There are bit emotes that I don't know what to do with. Bit badges that I don't know what to do with. It's all this stuff and it's like, what do you want me to do? I don't have this many ideas for things. I mean, I, if I played, I was gonna say if I played Puyo in the main channel, then I could have the Puyo emotes there, but I just remembered I did that for like an hour and change last night, so. Don't forget channel points. Oh, don't worry, I turned those off. Immediately. It's so weird, though, like... I, the, the whole concept of a hype train, like... Who's gonna get hyped for just watching somebody get a lot of money at once? Like, yeah! You get that money in $2 increments. Woohoo! Seems kind of weird that Twitch would think anyone else except the streamer would care, but it's for Twitch's benefit mostly, but yeah. But still, I'm just here to complain, pretty much. Do they have it on for AGDQ? I don't know if I watched this year. Oh, they had a third-party backend for it originally. My favorite third-party backend is the one that everybody used a few years back where it had the new subscriber text that automatically bounced around in that awful generic cartoony font, and nobody seemed to change it. I'm sure that still exists out there somewhere, but... Just ended up resulting in a lot of samey-looking streams. I 
I mean, I guess I can just put things in for emote slots and remove them later. I don't have to, like, send an email to horror anymore to get my emotes approved and wait, like, multiple days. Uh, no, nah, I don't want to open this up to subscriptions. First off, I don't think they'd let me. Second off, it's... Yeah. Kind of pointless. And I'm also not really doing this because I want you to give me money. I just want to play Puyo and then be slightly less bored in the process. Oh my god! No! Oh my god, I totally screwed that up, no! God damn it! Don't get a chain! Oh no! No! <laughs> oh, the margin time's kicking in, and now everything she sends over is gonna be a thousand bits of garbage. No! Oh. So, Puyo has a thing called margin time, and I think it's in all the games, or at least all the games at a certain point. Um. And it's effectively, the longer the game goes, the more garbage they start sending over for every combo. So if you let the game run too long, it can be pretty rough. Because you can just be, like, insta-killed by a 2-chain or something. gonna do something. No! Oh. That's fine. start any data analysis right now. Just have a giant Excel sheet that's got tens of thousands of columns of just a bunch of wretched decimals. I don't feel like looking at it. I could play columns! I was actually thinking about playing columns, but... do I do? Um, this is a very basic thing. It's for a, uh, an EEG experiment I ran at some point that my boss wants me to take a deeper look at. 
which I think is kind of a pointless exercise, but whatever. So I have all the different uh, frequency bands broken up, and I did all the analysis already with the software in lab. Uh, I just have to bin them all and then group them and take a look. Is my Excel food good? Uh, no. No, I have stupid roundabout ways of doing everything, but... I know that you can put the dollar sign and it makes it not change the cell in your formula. And that's about as extreme as I get in Excel. Sounds like memorizing a few, uh calculation shortcut things in the calculation bar, formula bar, whatever it's called. Have typing classes in school. You know, my coworkers and I were talking about that briefly. Um, remember those awful little plastic keyboard covers they would put on your computers in whatever grade you were that was teaching you typing? Those were awful, and they were also kind of gross because I'm pretty sure nobody ever watched them, and kids have the grubbiest fingers. Having been one, I can confirm. Yeah, and it made the keyboard really hard to use because you have no feeling where anything is. Or like, you, you push in the thing and the tactile sensation's all gone and it's awful. Speed skin. Oh no, it's the same one! It's the same awful orange! This must be the same thing. Pleasantly surprised. Uh. Wait, is this not. This isn't the right Amazon account. Hang on. Is. <sighs> I feel like I changed it because I also forgot what my password is before and now I don't remember what I changed it to. Let's see, did this save on the phone? That would be nice. Is this the same password? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Where do you find your passwords in Firefox? It's under, like, tools, options, privacy. Uh. Security? Oh, save logins. There it is. This is... 8 C's... Yeah, that's the same one. Okay, so this is not the right password. That's the same. That's also the same. It's not one that I use anymore. That's not the right account. 8 C A, yeah, it's the same. 
Uh, well, I have no idea what my Amazon account password is now. I mean, I have my laptop here. I guess I could pull it up, but... Ah, I guess I'll do that. My password is some, like, wretched, multiple dozen character auto-generated nightmare mess. Wait, is this the password? No, that's not the password. I've used my laptop on my lap, weirdly enough. Uh, privacy and security, passwords and all of the language passwords. Or to see passwords, go to manage web credentials. Ugh. Control panel. User accounts, manage web credentials. I don't know what my password is, and I don't know how to find it in Edge, which is the browser that I use on my laptop, because I am dumb. I don't like good things. Actually, it's not that bad as browsers go. I also just used it because the scrolling was very smooth. No, I have it as viewed by save passwords, but it isn't showing me what the actual thing is. It's just showing me the, um, the little dots. And it says... See, it says, to see passwords, go to control panel, user account, manage web credentials. Okay, fine. I do that. But then it just shows me like 10 different Amazon passwords and I don't know which one is the most recent one. Oh god. And because this is one of those weird old bits of Windows 10 where it's like legacy junk, I guess, or not all new and slick and metro. Um, there's no great way to search what my password is. I just have to click every single one of these and hope it's eventually gonna turn up the right one. Uh, God, I have all my hitbox credentials saved on this computer, apparently. Which I'm sure will do me a lot of good. This was saved. Is it this? Oh, God. Time to dump in this incredibly long password. 2D. Is that the right password? 
Enter the email address. Uh, that was the right password. That was not the right password. We have detected higher than expected requests from your system or account. Oh, sorry. All I want to do is just add the weird keyboard typing condom thing to the sell out list. That's all I want to do, Amazon. Now I have to activate my OTP, which is apparently one time password. Not as exciting as it was going to be. Let's see if that bothers to send me the email at some point. Create a new password. I just made one! Man, why? Why do I have to make a new password? I just... I don't know what my old password is again. I... Just let me add the thing to the sellout. Just do as it says. Why? Why are you doing this to me, Bezos? got into Amazon, now I just have to add the thing multiple days later. Oh, excuse me. Uh, what was it? That awful orange thing. Keyboard cover orange, learn to type, did not pull it up. Oh, there it is. Uh, is it ad sell up? Wait, the bot is here, right? The bot is not here. Really? Oh, wait, there it is. Was it that? I don't remember what the command is. Maybe it only works in main. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Oh, is it commands? You guys only get the sellout command. I have to log into. I think it's on the mono account. Uh, commands. Let me just try to do this on the dashboard. Oh, on the mono when there's an add sellout command? Okay.
Yay, it worked. It's now entry 946. I think... Getting close to a thousand, but I think a lot of them also don't work anymore, so... Oh well. Really slow bot today for some reason. No, I haven't seen the Sonic movie yet. I meant to, and then I just sort of didn't. Which is pretty much how you could describe most things in my life, but... I guess at some point... Oh, yeah, sorry. I hope the email didn't seem too flippant. I was just like, oh, this is my work email, so I'm just gonna reply back to you as if you were a coworker. Oh god. It's surprisingly decent. So I heard it's not that bad, and then I heard it's also pretty much for children, or people who really like Sonic, and... I'm an adult who really hates Sonic, so... Might not be the intended audience. And why do I have those leggings? to show off how much I hate Sonic. Specifically, when someone's like, oh, well, it's getting you down. I could point to my legs and be like, it's this, exactly, right here. That was a weird noise outside. There are a few jokes that fall flat if you aren't a kid. Sonic dab. Is Sonic like, hey, you know, I like going fast, but I like Fortnite even more. <laughs> Am I right, kids? Buy Funko Pops. Is that what the movie's about? He flosses. Oh. That's good. I like dental hygiene. Oh, no. I died. Olive Garden. Does he really? I'm sure he doesn't, but if there were a part in the movie where he's getting the Chaos Emeralds and it's like, you know, when I'm fighting Dr. Robotnik and going through Green Hill Zone collecting all those Chaos Emeralds, nothing hits the spot more than a big bowl of fettuccine Alfredo and bottomless garlic bread sticks at my local Olive Garden where I'm always family. Uh, and then you hear, like, the voice actor just slowly die in the process of recording these lines. Oh. There's a... Oh. Oh, I didn't know there was actually Olive Garden in... Okay, that's not... It's not actually funny now, it's just sort of sad.
Uh, I don't think I do, but that's okay. I'm probably not gonna watch it. Fair panda squared, that's a boy, but it's okay. <sighs> Sorry to betray you with my anime puzzle games. than Olive Garden. I hope they referenced that in the movie, although I'm pretty sure they didn't. Incoming loss to B? I don't think so. keep changing how they look. Yeah, the redesign on um, the PubMed site is really weird, and like, I'm sure it is equally functional, if not more functional, than the old one, but I'm not used to navigating it, and also the links it spits out for the individual journal articles are way, way longer than they used to be, which is kind of irritating. Oh, also the Twitch dash or dashboard redesign is not great. I mean, I've only used it once, but I don't really know where anything is. You know, it's, hey, we made everything big clickable tiles to make it easy, and then... Oh. Now I don't know where they actually are. Oh yeah, that's right, they did have that Reddit redesign. I've just been on old Reddit the whole time. Crap! Oh, I can't believe I did that. Oh my god, I keep ruining it. I keep ruining it. What am I doing? No! Oh, it's too fast. We need to do another GeoCity stream. I'd love to, but they took down the GeoCities archive. I haven't done that much looking, but it doesn't seem like there's an equally comparable thing online at the moment. Yeah, take a look, Rio Cities hasn't been there for at least a year. It just sort of disappeared at random one day and that's it. Uh, I'll play Hypnospace one day. Geocities.RestorativeLand.org hmm, Excuse me. Is that at all like negative land? Is there a Pepsi website on this? Yeah, but Oh Cities was never nearly as complete as Rio Cities.
Hmm. Stored visual gallery. What is a visual gallery? Is that just pictures of websites? Oh, wait, no. Okay. Uh, I will take a look at this. This looks promising. Especially because it has all of the thumbnails. The only thing that I'm slightly worried about with that site uh, is how compatible it is on old Windows Explorer, or uh, Internet Explorer. Because that was the one good thing with Rio Cities. It was effectively just the backup of GeoCities and really nothing added to it, so there was no new web standard junk to get in the way. I have a lot of emotes blocked from a number of years ago, and I never updated the block list, so if you want to use an emote that came out pre, like, 2016, it's probably blocked. But who knows? Hmm. Oh, wait, that doesn't go there. How will you make angry anime girl faces at you? Uh, just use your own face. Open your eyes really wide. I believe in you. You can do it. God, what have I done? I think I just lost. Nope, just one. Nope, just lost. Nope, just one. No. Oh. Maybe I didn't. Oh no, the elephant's fighting back harder than I thought. Oh no, I just lost. No, I have nothing to do. Ow. Ow. I don't know if they have streaks anymore. It seems like it's just the total months you've been subscribed. You have to take a box to make the streak show up. <sighs> I'd have to take a look. They keep changing things. On this website, excuse me. I don't log in for a year. Okay, it was more than a year. Also, yeah, I know. No! Oh, this is all messed up. There.
lost his sub button because he didn't fill out a form thing. Uh, yeah, I was partially expecting that to just be like, oh sorry, you didn't stream, we're going to disable this, but I guess they never did, which is thankful, or something I'm thankful for. Thankfully, there we go. That's the word I want. If they did that, or did that to me, I would just send him a doctor's note that's like, I'm sorry Tim did not stream. Tim is sad. There's a doctor's note. It says major depressive disorder written on it. And then I take Twitch to court. And I win. And then it's my site. Now I'm gonna run Twitch into the ground by having no streams on it at all for a year and a half. That's how I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna put the O in Jeff Bezos. Oh god, that sucks. Oh no! No. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> More like Jeff Bozos, am I right? Huh? 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 Jeff, but I advertised all those Amazon products for you, like that keyboard cover-up thing. Does Jeff Bezos have a Twitch account? Twitter developers where they all have their accounts just as their first names. Like, what is Twitch TV slash Jeff linking to? Bezos TV. Yeah. That's actually why he bought Twitch. It's like, no one's streaming on Bezos TV! Gotta do something. Did you guys see Bloomberg? Yeah. Did you guys see Bloomberg just lick his fingers after touching and putting back a piece of paper or a piece of pizza? Like what? Within the last few minutes, because no, I haven't seen that. Uh, generally try not to keep abreast of what Mike Bloomberg is up to. Unless it involves him being dunked on on the debate stage, in which, ca or in which case I am all for it. Absolutely there. What happened to the Puyo Tetris game? Uh, I still have it. It's still on Steam, and I have it on Switch, and I have it on the Vita, and I have played far too much of it, so... I only really wanted to play the Puyo part, so I'm just gonna play Puyo, I suppose. I forgot I had a Vita. I don't know how! It's the only defining character trait I have. You know, like, when they would have little bios for people to introduce them, you know, and it's, Oh, this is Frank, he likes kickboxing. For me, it's just gonna be like Tim, and under the bio it's just gonna say, Owns a Vita. And that's it. 
that's nonsense. The only trade I have is that I never stream. I think you'll find the number of streams I've had recently perfectly correlates with the release schedule of all the Vita games. Think about it. Follow the money! How many Vita games came out in 2019? Zero. Exactly. If you find a game that came out in 2019, just keep it to yourself. Oh no, there's not going to be a new Sony portable. That ship has sailed. Oops. God. Very topical CDI reference. No! Do I own a CDI? I sure do! It's back at home, in a closet, and it plays burnt discs, so you can just pop on any number of classic CDI games like, oh wait, there aren't any. But should you be so inclined, Enjoy that classic, classic CDI library. Oh, this is not good. 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 Oh. Is Corona time the ideal time to try LSD? Never done it. Yeah, that's a good point. Is it like one of the things for that, that you should have somebody there to watch over you and make sure that you don't lose it? I mean, they could do that, but they would have to be six feet apart from you, so if you are having a bad trip, they'll be like, Sorry man, I can't get any closer! CDC guidelines. So yeah, maybe wait. You've tried getting into the clinical ketamine trials. It's now time to turn to the streets. Yeah! I'm gonna breakdance my way to happiness. Bummer that the um, approved version of ketamine that they have out now for depression isn't really very good. Also, it apparently tastes gross. I got bored at some point and started just reading random reviews for antidepressants, and a lot of people complained that it does not taste very good. Yeah, the nasal spray one. The S-ketamine. Is our lab ever really concerned about closing due to coronavirus? Not really! And, like, my boss still expects us to come in, or to try to come in. Because the thing is, like, essential employees can come in. Like, essential in pandemic circumstances, employees. But I guess a lot of the PIs here were, um, 
just listing all of their grad students as essential, so then the dean had, or the uh, dean had to come in and say, like, look, grad students, you know, on the whole, do not count as essential. Stop saying they're all essential. You can't continue everything as normal. Etc. Etc. So I really don't know what I'm doing. My boss wants me to do one thing, but if the university just shutters access, then I've got nothing to do. Grad students are not essential. Oh no, we're not people. I will say, though, if I am designated essential in pandemic circumstances, that's going on my resume. It seems like a uh, good title to have. In a pandemic, I'm the person you want to be around. Oh man, I somehow countered that. Take that B. Bam. Do I think it's likely I'm not going to get my name in the patent? Uh, yeah, probably considering they already sent in the patent without my name on it. But my boss is also mentioning that they might have to revise and resubmit, so who knows. There's a whole backstory and a whole mess of stuff, and at the moment it's not probably something I can get super into, but it involves somebody being somewhat ethically dubious, but whatever. That's not me, by the way. Uh, no! Yeah, the clinical trials are generally IV, I think. Because it's infused, it isn't a nasal spray, usually. But yeah, like, I was curious to try it, but it really doesn't even seem like it's worth it. Oh yeah, I mean, if GameStop, or GameStop shuts down for even one day, how are they going to sell that protection plan on that big pack of batteries? That's Miss Profit there. Congrats on the job offer, at least. Hope that turns out well for you. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, sleep is such a basic function. I don't know why my brain just can't be like, yep, time to turn off. Wake up the next day and finish these thoughts. It just doesn't want to stop going. Do I have sleep apnea? Uh, I don't think so. At the very least, I don't snore. So... Probably. 
Definitely not. How do I know I don't snore? Because I've slept in a room with other people. And I've asked. And they said I don't snore. Because I stream my sleeping on my OnlyFans account, and no one has told me I snored. God damn it! Uh, sleep apnea is more of a respiratory issue than a specific thing with snoring. Um, I forget what it is exactly, but something is blocking your airway during sleep, and the snoring is, I guess, your body's way of trying to clear that? Or, I don't know exactly. Anyway, snoring is a symptom of sleep apnea, but it is not the cause or the sim- or not the symptom, but, you know, the, the thing, the- you know what I mean. I don't think I have any of the Sailor Moon cosplays anymore. what's in that closet anymore. Oh, God damn it. probably should do a sleep study. I don't really know what the issue is. Because I used to sleep really well, and I would sleep all the time, and now I can't sleep at all. I mean, that's slightly an exaggeration. I can sleep eventually, but you know what I mean. Wait a minute, you know what I haven't played in a while? And... I don't know why, specifically, this is what I feel like playing now, but... Uh, where is it? Uh, it might have started with grad school, I don't remember. It might have been college. Hey, it's time for egg! Nope, that's not the right one. Did I have an easy time sleeping after last night's stream? Oh god, no. For some reason, it was... really bad sleep.
No. Well, that doesn't bode well. For my money, Game & Watch Gallery 3 is probably the best one. Although I never played 4. I think that was on the DS. It was like some online... Oh no, it was some like Nintendo rewards point thing only, wasn't it? Oh man, I'm glad they like Contradiction. Everybody should play it. Which one has Oil, Panic, and Octopus? I I think that's two. Birth the child just so we can eat food. I think if you get two eggs or three eggs in total, they all start hatching. Um, I forget exactly how that works, but you just get the Yoshi head cookies and eventually it just makes eggs and then they make little Yoshi babies that eat, sort of. Well, I think one of the main people from Contradiction passed away. Um, one of the guys in the cult. I want to say it was the old guy? Who was, like, the cult leader? I don't remember his name, but... I follow Jenks on Twitter, and I think he mentioned that. I might be wrong, it might not be him, but... Really, the only good thing about popping the Yoshis is that when you uh, hatch the egg, it clears out everything else on the screen. score was on this, but... I feel like that's just gonna be additionally stressful. Oh no! doing my tongue dashes across the stage. No items, final destination, Yoshi only. No, 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 no! Mm. 
No! Damn it! The wheels are all coming off now. No! Okay, that's fine, because I'm still in. Down two and a half lives. Still have half a Yoshi left. No! Oh god, I thought I screwed that up. Mario popping out signifies. Oh. Hey, that's my high score, though. Not as much on hard as on easy. Oh, that's right, there's star mode now. I could do very hard. Which I guess I've never done. I've ever played Picross. drop a cookie? I thought you only lost half a life if you ate one of the really burnt ones before it hit the ground. Oh god, wait, speaking of Overlord, not Overlord Picross, but just Overlords in general, that reminds me I haven't finished playing Disgaea 2. Uh, I played the original Pikmin that I liked a lot, um, but I never played the sequels, and I never played 3, which looked pretty good. And I guess we have to wait for them to port that to something other than the Wii U. Oh god! What I have to do in this game is start hitting the diagonal buttons more, so... A and B will make Yoshi move diagonally, so you don't have to hit two button presses on the D-pad. Which is good when it's all coming at you really fast, but I just don't have the muscle memory for that. Have I ever used my Wii U? Uh, no. Oh, I guess I could just emulate it, that's true. Yeah, you know, I was actually thinking about playing Ghost Babble at some point. Although I'm not sure if, um, Portal Blops is worth playing at this point. Probably not. 
Did that have online support, or was it just ad hoc? Probably no mainstream tonight, I don't really feel that great. Port Blops is the only one you didn't get through. Oh no! It's not on the PC yet, is it? Because I don't have a PS4 or anything. Yeah, I'll play it when it's on the PC, I guess, but... For now, no, I haven't played it. No, I don't have a PS4. I was thinking about getting one for Red Dead, but... Never was really able to justify it. Gallery 3 is a good game. Capital G, good. Also looks pretty good for a Game Boy Color game. Oops. Oh, come on! last Rhythm Heaven game they put out? Was that the, um, one in the 3DS? Yeah, Mega Mix. That was, like, 2017? What we really need is more Elite Beat agents. I've kind of made peace with the fact we're never going to get another one. But, wouldn't it be great if we did? I don't know how it would work on the Switch. I mean, I guess... You would just get a capacitive stylus and hope for the best, but oops. Yeah, but... I'm not here for the gameplay of EBA. Just on its own. You know, it has to have all the dumb little comic book trappings and whatever else. It has to have somebody yelling help. If it doesn't have some dude yelling help before the stage starts, it's not an Elite Beat Agents game. I'm sorry. Yeah, because then if you had EBA on the Switch, you can just go and do digital distribution with all the songs and just make it like a rock band situation. <laughs> I did not think I was going to make that. Almost.
Ah, uh, yeah, I have both the Owendon games, and I S-ranked everything on them. On the hardest difficulties. I played a lot of them. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Go away! Um, I forget when they give you extra lives in this. It's, um... Every few hundred points, but once you get a certain score, they stop giving you one-ups, which is kind of annoying. I guess they kind of want you to stop playing at some point. And like, yeah, I've played Oso and everything, but... It's not the same, because most of them are just like, here's a Speedcore remix of this other song with a single JPEG of an anime girl crying in the background. And... Like, yeah, the core gameplay of EBA is fun and everything, but when it's just stripped down to the bare essentials, it's just so bland in comparison. Oh, I screwed that up. Do I have very hard? Oh no, because I didn't get five points, or er, five stars. I didn't Mario Brothers though. Oh wait, that's the cake one, that's right. Very hard cakes. Okay, that's up, down, good. Really, the only game on this collection that's not all that great is the Greenhouse game. And that's just because it's really slow. Mm. I don't know if I ever played the one that had boxing on it. There's no boxing in this. It has Greenhouse, Turtle Bridge, this one, the Yoshi one, and DK Jr., and a couple of Game & Watch only games that you can unlock that are kind of whatever. Was it one of the unlocks? I unlocked everything on this at some point and never saw that. Uh, D Reaper 90, that's probably because Game & Watch games had two screens. Type games only had one. Also, all the Tiger games that came out are like, what if we adapt this AAA console game to this little LCD thing? And like, no, that's never gonna work. Whereas at least Game & Watch stuff new to keep the scope pretty limited. I can't tell how frustrating this is to watch. Like when I'm about to eat it or something on the level of someone's just watching in the background screaming at me. Like, no, move Mario faster, what are you doing? Something like that. Just 
this causes anxiety for you. Weirdly not for me. <laughs> it's mostly just fun. Oh no, my cake! <laughs> God, look at Mario's face in the top, right by the mist thing. Oh, whoops, did not notice that. That's on me. No, I don't have the P.O. Box anymore. I'll have to get it at some point, but it costs a lot of money, which I don't have right now. Boxings and Game & Watch 4, haha! -ha! Take that. My childhood memories of this game are infallible. Like the Pope. going. Am I down to one life? Oh, I am. Oh, no. That's okay. I think if you're trying to unlock stuff, playing it in the, um, very hard difficulty doesn't actually get you more stars. Oh man. Oh, the third Ace Attorney game on the last case. That's such a good case. Oh man. That's such a good game in general, but that last case is something else. The best case in the series, though, is the last case in the first game. Uh, 1 5. With the Blue Badger and everybody else. 34 points on Easy Turtle Bridge, 873 on Hard. Yeah, the bonus one, not the DL6 case. The SL9 case. I realized I somehow lost my copy of the first Ace Attorney Investigations. Also, I have the second Ace Attorney Investigations, but I, for some reason, stopped playing it on the final case, so... Oops. Should probably go back to that. You don't like the extra case on Ace Attorney 1 that much? Really? I liked all the little DS exclusive features and how it was specifically made for the DS, so all the character graphics are a lot higher resolution than normal. Because they were all originally for the Game Boy Advance. I don't know, I think it had really good characters, and the story was fun, and... It's fun to just go around random places and spray them with loom and all. Because you're supposed to spray it to find the blood in murder scenes, but you can also spray it on other random things. So if you spray it on the cactus in Officer Jake's room or something, the security room, whatever it's called, you can find a blood stain on there, and then they talk about how he must have landed headfirst into the cactus at some point. Just little bits of flavor text like that are always kind of fun. Just end up liking games where you can go and examine everything. And you can go and yell about stepladders over and over. Oh yeah, my DS microphone is also broken. Not entirely sure how that happened, but... I was, uh... playing one of the Ace Attorney games and frantically yelling objection into the microphone and nothing was happening. 
and I think I loaded up that, uh, WarioWare minigame that recorded some little snippet of voice on the microphone. Like the parrot toy, I think. And that just played back static, so... I guess that's just broken. Which is weird, like, it's a solid-state part, so I don't know what would've broken on it, but... Do you have to get the coins? Uh, no, but they just give you one point each. So... Like, if you can get them, then you might as well. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Also, the music in these games, really, really good. <sighs> uh, thanks for watching, Boom! Ah, no! Did I get any stars for that? Two. Listen to the music and sound test with headphones. <laughs> yeah, I totally did the same. Oops. That's right. You can't get back to Mario's platform unless you uh, drop the item off. Oh yeah, I'm sure if I get a thousand points, I'll get five stars, but... This is not one of the ones that I'm especially good at. And the thing is that this one also takes a while to start building up points, unlike the egg game, where you can just go and get to a thousand in, like, five minutes. so close in these games. <laughs> okay. That probably should have killed me. Oh, yeah, I did. Congrats. No! I think you get another life at 500. Thank 
Thanks, Laka, too. No, come back! now than I had before, so that's good. Oh, come on! Get back here! Take your egg! Uh, yeah, it's still easy mode. Easy mode and hard mode are pretty much the same. Like, they will get to the same difficulty eventually, it just takes a lot longer to get to that hard difficulty on easy mode. Whereas they kind of start you farther down the difficulty curve on the harder difficulties. Nope, 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 okay. Each one of those is 12. Oh yeah. That's plenty. So this is 49 to 64. What is that? 16? 15. Holding a star, how did I die? Oh, take the mushroom! Well, I think they scroll the score in the lives uh, as if it were a um, Game & Watch game. So, like, those are things ostensibly baked into the LCD, so they have to be there all the time. I'm not gonna get a thousand points. No! I can view a new title in the museum! Wow! I could look at a game and watch gallery game, but not actually play it. Donkey Kong Hockey! You just watch them. And, like, I have no idea what's happening in this. Which one is Donkey Kong? How can I find out the name of this room? Well, it's called Museum, so... God, there's so many things I still have to unlock. Seems like you're getting lots of stars. Oh, man. Use two men to push lions into the cage. That's the way to phrase that. so there's no music on the classic games. I thought I'd press B again, but I guess I didn't. Why is my face on the miss screen just a giant H?
Oops. Wait, they wanted me to get to 200 points? Because that's not happening. Oh, come on. This is super unresponsive. I don't even think I got one star for that. What hard mode? Oh, God. No. Oh, you can't hold the button. You have to tap it every time. On the Mario games, with the cake and everything, you can, um... Just hold the button, and they move faster. That's the problem. Why my guys aren't moving fast enough, because I have to mash the button. God, at the rate I'm getting points, how am I even going to get to 200? That's like multiple hours of mind-numbing gameplay. Here, I'll make it more exciting. Oh. There it is. It was actually cheaper to just hire two guys with chairs to do this instead of buying doors for the zoo. It's not printer ink, it's thermal paper on the Game Boy printer. So as long as we still have temperature, it'll print. But if somehow all the heat in the universe somehow disappears, then we can't print. Ah, oh, damn it. This is so mind-numbing, and I don't get another, or I don't get another life until 200 points, and I feel like I've been playing this for an hour, and I only have 68. This is awful. It's like a subtle thing in the background playing road noise or something. <sighs> okay, I have a hundred points. That's got to be worth one star, right? I hate this so much. It's 
so stressful. People at a really low standard for entertainment at some point. This is... very frustrating. <laughs> got to be one star. Really? Not even one. I hate Judge. All the game and watch only games are not that exciting. This doesn't have lives, I think it's just the first to whatever. If you have the bigger number, you hit A and bonk them. If you have a smaller number, you press B and try to avoid being bonked. Like that. But you have to do it quickly. Yeah, Mr. Game and Watch's weird, like, jail bar teeth. Stephen Malkmus is, so probably not. I think this one just goes to 100 points. The thing with this game is that there's like no time where you can actually relax. Because the whole thing is just based on reaction times. There's never like a lull in any of the gameplay except for this bit. I don't even know if you get stars from playing this. I feel like you probably don't. See, I forgot to hit the button. I just like when you bonk him with the smaller number and then he just immediately hits you over the head. Uh, 
That's very funny for some reason. It's like, gotcha! Ow, damn it! time for this because I don't have any coffee in my system you'll make me coffee oh thanks I couldn't tell if that's I'll make you coffee, or I'll make you coffee, in like a he <laughs> he kind of way. How do I like my coffee? Unfertilized. No, wait. I just put half and half in it. Apparently, kind of a lot of half and half, I've been told. Oops. It's not actually approximately 20% creamer, but... It's probably more than most people put in. I mean, half and half is good, it's liquid ice cream. drank straight creamer. Oh yeah, absolutely. I used to put coffee creamer in my, um, or not coffee creamer, but half and half, like actual milk product in my cereal. Uh, like I would cut it with skim milk, but it's pretty good. I mean, I figure if it's half, half and half and half skim, then it's just quarter and three quarters milk. I think this ends at 100 points. Or like 99 or something. Oops. Oh, my phone's ringing. Here's a message. I have a gift for you. Ooh. Oh, I got five stars on that. Whereas on the other one, I played even longer and got no stars. Thank you for playing so much. Here's my cell phone. <laughs> Want more than take spitball sp- Oh no, this one! 69. Oh. God, I haven't thought about Spitball Sparky in so long. Do you like Breakout, but it's bad? Can I just give this game back to Peach? I feel like those bumper things just... Oh, I was gonna say don't actually do anything, but... I just did.
blink. Oh god, it's so boring. If the ball just went faster, this would be way more tolerable. I was kind of hoping it would be more like Breakout where it'll actually ricochet off the blocks and hit more than one at the same time, but it doesn't look like it's going to actually do that. See, like, that should have hit. It kind of sucks that you can only knock them off from the front and not have it come back down and have it actually break them. Which feels sort of like an arbitrary limitation, just to make it go longer. Oh, wait a minute. You can balance the ball in his face so you can move it after, I think. Maybe you can't. I don't remember. Damn it. No! No, don't hit anything, you... Ugh. There. Oh wait, that one takes two? Damn it, really? Don't hit that green one. Oh, really? Go! Go, 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 yes! Oh, I have to do it a second time. I got it. Am I having fun? Yes. Yes. I am riveted. But I have to get my stars. I can't quit the game now. to unlock more great Game & Watch games, like... Oh. Well, at least that made it up. God, when I play another game that actually has fluid motion instead of, like, LCD jitter, it's going to be a revelation. It's going to feel like they sped the speed up a thousand percent.
No! Go, 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 yes! I know, I think I've actually gotten good at it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, no, not at all. I take that back. Go, 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 yes! I wish I knew how many points it took to get a star, but I guess I will just play until I lose, and then we'll find out. It'll be like that lion game where I get nothing. Is it 200 points for one star? Like, actually? Oh god! I've got to be doing something wrong here. I mean, I haven't gotten a bonus in, what, like five levels at this point? I mean, I don't think there's anything I'm missing, but... No, the bonus... well, it might actually be like a par, I'm not sure. I have no idea what it's based on. Hopefully the dad's driving the kid to get a better game than this. Yeah, he's driving his kids to GameStop. Great. There's nothing even here to hit. Go, go, go. No, 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 no. Oh, I didn't know it fell off your weird face. I thought you could just hold it on your bizarre, distended lips for as long as you wanted. But apparently not. Oh god, my controller disconnected! <sighs> Came back at the last second. that missing gets you the power-up from Metroid. If we could only use the Morph Ball to turn this into a good game, that'd be great. And it's gonna hit the blue one, yup. Am I in the bottom of a well? Or like inside of a beaker or some kid's sand art project? Hmm. 
God damn it, stop ricocheting! There! Oh, I swear to God, if you hit that green one. You can hold on to it for a little bit, but you can't move with it. And eventually you'll drop it. Also, the thing is, this game is so easy, there's really no straightforward way to lose. It's just a matter of how much you could bother to endure. Oh, I think it would take longer than half an hour to get to a thousand points at this rate. Because remember, this score is also including all the time bonuses I got at the beginning that I haven't gotten since. Really? God damn it, man. Just get through any of them. I like how if you showed a screenshot of this to somebody, it would be completely inscrutable. Oops. I'm not even mad when I lose, I just want the suffering to end. I assumed it was a marble or something, but I don't know. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Is this the same layout? Do they not change it? Hmm, riveting. everywhere. I guess there's really no penalty for just mashing the blow button. They did a video of the worst Beach Boys album ever. Was it Keeping the Summer Alive, or was it any of the really awful, like, 90s ones? Like, Spirit of America, Volume 1. What do they say the worst Beach Boys album was? It's one of the 90s ones. Oh, good. Is it Beach Boys Salute to NASCAR? Oh, oh, Summer in Paradise. That came out in 1980? Something, I think? Yeah, that's the one that everybody hates. Although, uh, Going On's an okay song. <laughs> mm. 
Wow, it's almost moving at the speed of a normal game. And it's way more enjoyable this way. I wish it just started off at the speed initially. Oh man, now it's just back to molasses fill. I hate it. Beach Boys really do a NASCAR album. Oh, yeah. It's, uh... Oh, this isn't the right layout. How could you forget the quality album? The Mike Love, Bruce Johnson, and David Marks of the Beach Boys salute NASCAR. So it is Beach Boys, but the ones that nobody especially likes all that much. It's just got a bunch of covers of old Beach Boy songs. More trash from the lovester. God, I was on a Beach Boys Discord for a little bit, and one of the people there found one of the original 45s for sale from somebody of Be True to Your Bud. And I begged them to give them to me, but they're not going to. but maybe that'll at least mean we can get a better copy on YouTube. I was also in a crossword discord, so... <laughs> Turns out I'm just an old person. Did they do Beach Boys roleplay? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh man. Oh no! I can't play this game anymore! One star! That's it! All that time and I got one. Oh, these all suck. Well, I guess I can do greenhouse, which is not fun. Oh, this is easily the worst game on this collection. Of the remade ones, anyway. Although they really use a lot of Yoshi's Island stuff in this. From that flower up there to the birds. And the turtle bridge level and other stuff, I'm sure. watermelon and eventually you eat enough and you start spraying fire and that allows you to briefly kill the monkeys without them having to go all the way to the bottom. That's pretty much it.
Like now! Everyone dies! There. Now you do that again, and again, and again. Oh yeah, it's well known that Yoshi hates monkeys. In fact, that's the most important thing to know about Yoshi. I feel like this would be a lot more enjoyable if you got the watermelon faster. Like, you didn't need this many watermelon. Watermelons. Oops. Hard mode? It's uneasy. <laughs> I think I picked hard. What does it say? No. No, no, no! Mm. Get down there! No, my thing! Well, I just started setting all those monkeys on fire, too. Yeah, the shy guys just come over and step on your plants, and that's pretty much it. Oh wait, I didn't even notice that monkey over there, no! No, Yoshi is spitting out watermelon seeds, I think it's supposed to be. Although it might be, like, shotgun shot, I don't know. Probably was a DS game originally, or at least the dual screen game and watch system thing.
Do I think there's a Beach Boys roleplay Minecraft server? Uh, if there's not, I'm going to make one. And I'm gonna be Mike Love and you're all gonna have to call me the Lovester. Yeah, the fire only really helps for the monkey. So, like, there's really not any great reason, aside from the bonus, to even be getting the watermelons, because it doesn't make a huge difference. But that's just sort of how the game is designed. And, like, there's probably a lot more going on in this game versus the others, but for some reason it just feels a lot more or uh, a lot worse because of it. Because you think there's a lot more maybe going on than there actually is, versus just the egg game where all you do is just eat the eggs. Smash Mouth, damn it. I can look at a new thing! Three stars. Oh, I guess they all are 200 points. Oh, what game do you think I got? Is Donkey Kong Badminton? It's Donkey Kong Circus, only released outside of Japan. Press A, I am. Wow. DK juggles pineapples in a panoramic setting. I like how low res all the sprites are for this, and it just looks inscrutable. Panoramic setting. Mm. See, the problem is I have all the stars that are easy to get at this point. I mean, I guess I could do the classic version. Which is pretty much the same exact game, but... God, what is my dude's like, weird witch nose? What is that supposed to be? There, now it's a lot better. Sort of.
Oh god, the van's on fire! Why is the scoring on all the Game & Watch versions so much worse than the modern versions? It feels like if you're gonna get anywhere by playing this game, you're not gonna get any stars unless you play the modern ones. Yeah, I know it's old, but you could just adjust it. I mean, they reprogram these games, so they could do whatever they want. God, what is that sprite of the guy on the side? What is his face? Now we have a smoke break. And then get yelled at by a boss. Why do they not carry over the part where your boss scolds you in the modern version? Like, who's gonna come over and yell at Mario? It's like Waluigi show up. See the factory foreman. God, even the animations between levels take forever! Oh, I didn't even notice that. Why am I playing these? I don't know! I just want to unlock more game and watch games that I don't like playing. training video from Amazon. I don't know. Is that the one with the anti-unionizing messages? Because I think I've heard of that. Uh, if it isn't that, it's a different one that I've never seen or heard about. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Oops! Well, I died. Did I get any stars? Of course not! <sighs> 300 points! To get one life back! 300! That's too many points! Well... See, I figure that's about all the game and watch gallery I've got in me at the moment. Wait a minute! 
I thought this was the Genesis version. It's the Game Gear version. Dr. Robotnik's mashing. The mean bean mashing. God, every time I hear this song, I can only think of hot drinks now. That remix. <laughs> you made that one, right, Basic? Um, you could post it again. Yeah, please do. It is a mix of this. Right here. Etc. It it syncs up pretty well to the mean bean theme at least. Tiny YouTube window here. I wonder what this guy's up to now. I don't know. Would I say hot drinks really get me going? I would. Hot drinks really get me going. Anyway, now that you've heard this, now you have to hear this. Just kidding. It's not found, apparently. Well. Appreciate the effort. Uh, here it is. <laughs> it really works surprisingly well. Or at least in the beginning, it kind of falls apart later, but... Wow, this looks interesting. I played this before, but I forgot how weird the graphics are for all the characters. It's a real game. Not as good as the Neo Geo Pocket Color version of Mean Bean Machine, but... Or Puyo, I guess. Ah, uh, no, this is based on Puyo One rules. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna go and lie down, because I'm still feeling kind of crummy. So... See you later, stream, maybe sometime next week. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway.
see you in a bit. Maybe I'll turn the stream back on in a little bit, but for now, I'm just going to go and lie down. Bye!